All right, Toyota, Toyota Prado, what, 2006, it's the um, used on other years as well, it's a hydraulic brake booster for the braking system, so it have the master cylinder, the ABS unit, and a brake hydraulic pump, and motor assembly in one right so instead of the conventional air booster which is a vacuum booster you have this motor that drive this pump and this pump actually pressurizes the brake fluid sends it back into the master cylinder to assist in brake in braking right so this is the the reservoir for the fluid fluid is led from the reservoir here down to the pump and from here so now the motor drive the pump and pressurize the same brake fluid and sends it back through this line here I'll go ahead and pull off this line already it sends it through this line which was yeah it was bolted up like this right so it's bolted up like this so the pressurized fluid then now travel through this line and go into the master cylinder itself where it leads out to the individual brake lines for each wheel all right so i'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this because it have a problem where that brake is actually tough so you have to press very hard to actually make it stop so therefore it's not very safe to drive that way you understand so i'm gonna go ahead and just pull it up and see what's going on i'll go ahead and train out the, the brake fluid already um this kind of look dirty if you can see it kind of look dirty so i'm gonna pull up the whole entire thing now and see what's going on inside of it all right i'll see you soon all right so i went ahead and pull off the, the reservoir so far it's not looking too good because if you notice all the fluid is leak out of it right it's a discoloration right here so therefore that indicates us dirt and this is very dirty so i'm saying i'm guessing that that same dirt and everything end up went down into the master cylinder and clogged it up right because i'm looking down in each individual hole right here now and it, it doesn't look good so what i'm gonna do is just finish pull off everything else and then bring it back into the show you know yeah all right so this is the, the master cylinder and the abs unit in one unit together same way so this is the motor that drive the pump like this it does not have this this little thing in here as on the motor spin that part in here is a turn so it have that little thing in here so and that mesh with this one so the two of them sandwich like that so when current reached to the motor the motor then turn the pump and it creates pressure you understand and this is a bracket that hold them together yeah so I'm gonna pull this apart now and then show you again. Alright guys, so pull the um the master cylinder which is this. This is a master cylinder from the ABS unit itself. And so far I'm actually seeing like there's blockage in some of the passages. You understand? So this definitely have to get some cleanup see what's exactly going on so this is the abs unit itself you have some strainers here one here one right here and the next one right here this strainer right here is damaged so i'll have to take out these and check them these are some seals that are supposed to seal off these passages that's here no leak so i'm gonna check the motor check the master cylinder and i'm gonna check the pump all right so let's stay tuned
Alright, so. Alright, so. We got clean up on it. We're going to actually I come down here now still. But I clean out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to here and blow through all of those ports. Make sure they're clean and free. So I did a wash up. I'm going to finish clean up the one here yet still. See there? Still have some more clean up to do on it. But actually it was a plate. It was a plate that was right here. Like this, you know? That plate go right here so to seal off the area. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and do a clean up and complete blow out of the system. I wanna see if I can pull up the pump here as well and see if um anything any blockage in here so as well as it. Yeah. Go enjoy it. So yeah. Alright. I'll do a blow out of all them port here. So far, we did some clean up and blow out um, these ports. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna test the, the motor and the, the pump. I'm gonna assemble them together and test them and see if they are working properly. So I'm gonna do the both up with these two. Just bolt them up together and put power into each one of these and see if any pumping is going on here. So that will at least get out some of the water that's in it as well. Alright. Alright, so this is the, the motor and the pump all put together. So I'm gonna put current to the motor now, which will turn the shaft inside the pump. And I'm gonna see if anything is gonna pump out because I had water in it to see if any blockage is there. And I put the hose right here so it spray back out through this. So I'm gonna see if I can just pump out any excess water that's left back inside and make sure so it's just brake fluid alone when we're going up back. All right, so now I'll get the current and come add it sweeter now. All right, so this is the setup. So you just want positive and negative on these two terminals. And then what I'm gonna do is just push this to the um, positive. I'm actually using my jumper right now, my drum starter. So I'm gonna turn it on now. And there we 
We have water coming out. So I'm gonna just try and blow it some more out of it. So I'll try to have a little bread food and see what happens. Let me have some bread food first. Let me turn it on back. Turn it on again. Alright, so you notice it sucks down the bread fluid and send it back out to this port, which is a pressurized port. So, see if I can have some more while it's running. See, pressurize and push out my finger. So, that's the test that I just did on it. So, you know, everything is working right here for now. So all I need to do is to just fit up back and see hopefully everything works. Alright, so these are the filters I was telling you about. These little filters, these this one's damaged. I don't know if you can see it. Focus. Anyway, this one is damaged. The, the mesh all right the mesh is damaged therefore I'm just gonna fix it back clean it out fix it back and install them where they came from all right so I'm just gonna all right the filters are back in place I'm gonna put on the plate now and seal up back everything Alright, so it's all assembled together again, ready to be tested. So I'm gonna put it away. I know this is when we install it on the van tomorrow. Alright, so that's it. Did a clean up on it, fix the, um, the motor. Yeah, and that's it.